Hey, Beth. Oh, hi, Gabe. I didn't recognize you. Hey, guys, and welcome to a very special episode of Modern Channel Live. I'm joined today by Video Gums' Gabe Delahay. Oh, hey, Beth. Oh, hey, Gabe. I didn't recognize you. And we are both thrilled to welcome the stars of the cult classic, The Room, Tommy Wiseau, also the writer and director, and Greg Sestero. Welcome, you guys. Hey, Thank you so much for are. being here. Very good to be here. Before we start it, I want to give you this little doggy I want to announce. And also, everyone, hello. This is Tommy Wiseau. I'm thrilled to be here in New York. As you know, this is like a little house. Mm -hmm. We'd like to come here. So awesome. This is for you. The I designed this for your information. Oh my goodness. And it's from the room. And you press here, and maybe you have it's barking actually. Oh hi doggy. Yeah, here you go. That's for you. Oh hi doggy. I love it so much. Actually, do you know how to spell doggy? Oh, I, I have a guess in mind, which is, do you have a special way? Yes, I do. I'd like I, to hear I'm that. I'll give you a hint. You please, like. please. Uh, we, our actual pronunciation is doggy, as a doggy, but we spell D-O-G-E-E-E, -E -E, three E's. I will forever and always spell doggy that way. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Okay, so you guys are in, what brings you to New York right now? We have a special screening of the room at the Sunshine, three days, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Oh, fantastic. I'm going. Sure, so thank you. Sure. <laughs> I can't wait. How often do you guys come to New York? How often do you do those screenings? Well, the screen we have once a month, regularly, past four years. We used to screen, uh, we still screen in Zigfield as well, the village. Oh, but right now we do the sunshine. So we've been screening right now actually close to four years, maybe, something like that. You put total together. So. That's so fun. Yeah. What is one of your um, favorite like, things that the crowd does in the screenings? Question for Greg or for me? Um, I, th I think the audience participation is probably my favorite favorite part. Um, there's a scene towards the end when Tommy's kind of trashing the whole room, and he takes the dresser and he like pulls you know the first drawer out, the second drawer out, and then he just throws the whole thing over, and that's somehow turned into one, two, fuck it. <laughs> oh, F words not allowed. So that's I'm a classic one. We'll, we'll give it. You guys. Okay. But thank you. I mean, it's in general. We, we appreciate you censoring that. Sure. No, I'm not censoring. Looking censor. at. Okay. Looking good. At we don't want you to do any censoring. Are we ready to go? Let's ready to get into dive it? in. All right. Oh, first. Okay. Well, we, we have a bunch of questions from. Sure. From online. We've I have come. something for you. <laughs> That's our <laughs> signal that we have a question. Sure. All right. This is from Tumblr, and this is from Ask uh, Katie Schnebel. Dear Mr. Wiseau, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of your movie. It really has spread throughout my high, my school. I was wondering what your inspiration was, not just for the movie itself, but the character. I know that oftentimes when I aspire to create a character, I find myself adding traits that I myself have. Sure. Could the same be said for you and Johnny? Oh boy. So where did the inspiration come from, and did some of Johnny's character come from you? Absolutely. You know, inspiration coming from life. Mm -hmm. you know, we have, I always say we have many Johnnies, Lisa, all the characters, and that's why I noticed that a lot of people were connected to it. And I noticed that you guys with media are much more kind for the room right now. Not you, but I'm just saying, general speaking. So they, they come from life, you know. Two is better than three, three is crowd. You know, what is it about? You know, when you deal with relationship, do you want a three people, do you want a two? You know, I rest my case. So we always been there, you know, if you really think about it. And I noticed that in the past, I don't know, Greg, if you noticed, I noticed the past two or three years, the audience actually getting, you know, what is behind the room. It's not just to be serious about it, just forget the world, have fun. Yeah, there's yeah. so many layers, you know, in the movie. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you do a lot of preparation for your character? A lot? Did you create a backstory for yourself? Um, yeah, do a lot of ride-alongs sure. with other people? Yeah, I tried Mark. to liken it kind of the English patient, you know? There's uh -huh. before, <laughs> That's what you I was going to, I didn't want to say it. I was yeah, for you yeah, to say you know, it. you got the beard, you know, and mm -hmm. then after the beard. Which is so everybody was against it. It's kind of like, you know, you know, Christian Bale in The Dark Knight with the beer and then yeah. coming out of it, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. I'm just kidding, but, you know, okay. sure you knew that. Well, you should be serious, because I'm serious about it. Why is the beer? Because <laughs> something's different. Why is tuxedo? Because it's different. Yeah, there's, got a, there's a reason. Okay, yeah. here we go. I have something for you. Oh, boy, okay. this is from now Video Gum a Monster. Question from Video Gum. <laughs> it's from Lindsay. She okay. writes, first, thank you, Video Gum, for introducing me to this movie over four years ago and making me excited enough to buy it on Amazon sight unseen. I say this in all sincerity. Tommy, what is your favorite part of the room? If you could go back, well, let me, uh, let's just start with that first. This is a long question from yeah. Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. What is your favorite part of the room? You are Teremir Parlisa, as well. Very good. Chris R. 
And then the fo Lisa's follow up is if you could go back and change anything about the room, would you? And what would it be? Well, you see, again, you know, people have assumption. Some of them are using the two camera format. I don't know if you're familiar with that. The we HCM, heard about it. Yeah, HCM 35. And let me correct, if I may, everyone. Please. Hopefully, I try to correct as much time I can. Uh, uh, first of all, Hollywood was confused about format. As you know, guys, now everybody uses HD, etc. The reason I shot in Balfour, not just because I was confused, I'm proud to say that, and people have a tendency, you know, switches, oh, he got confused, oh my God, the end of the world. No, it's not the end of the world. We can't, you know what I'm saying? You said it was the end of the world. A lot of people, well, okay, I'm Steven just saying. Steven Spielberg. You know, Spielberg here you go. That. But uh, long story short, you see, the, 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 uh, that's the reason I shot on the two format, because I want to experience, you know, what's the difference. At the time, we didn't have a book, even today, if you look at like uh, any bookstore, say what's the difference be between two formats? You don't have a straightforward answer. Either or you, we know about it, you know. So I'm writing the book about it. That's the story. Move on. Next question. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then. So this is from Tumblr, Sorry. and it is <laughs> You're from. You're the charge. <laughs> it's from anything from my princess asks you uh, for Greg the beard oh, Sestero. Right. How you similar go? is your personality to Mark's? Oh wow, that's a good question. Well, that's actually a good question because I didn't know Mark had a personality. Of course, it's Jaws. <laughs> yeah. Mark yeah. is a very complex uh, character because, you know, I think he's a uh, a cop, but you know, we don't know that. Ooh, right. So it was a, a bit of a stretch for me to. So you, know, you did do a backstory. That's your backstory. It came kind of on the fly because I was yeah. trying to figure it out. So. Tell me, what do you think Players. Mark's background is? I, I'm I'm happy that you asked this question. Because first of all, we have a couple marks on the set, and he actually do a better job than other person. Wait. Long so story short, you see, I cast everybody as a two or three people in the room to have a backup. My background is actually a, a theater. Yeah. So this is that's a typical, you know, like you you cast two or three people just in case. So and you have two he, cameras running on the right. film the whole time, and two actors playing every role. Not all of it. Because that's uh, we have backup. What this mean? I can call somebody and say, you know what? Let's change the actor. And in Greg's situation, we have another Mark. Actually, we are releasing on the Blu-ray, and we give you a little clip the person who's supposed to play Mark. And he took over because he did a better job. And he been hired actually also as my assistant, so line producer, etc. How was that in the set for the actors, Greg? When knowing that there's backup and people, you still haven't gotten the job yet. That you're they, still they continually like auditioning with everything. They did not. You know what? Being on the room, it was you know an experience every day. Yeah, that's a whole nother. Every day was a surprise. The auditions of the actors. Yeah. I have something for you. Oh boy. Okay. This one is from Video. <laughs> that's another Gun. question from Take Video. Take game. Gun. All right, I will. This is from Laura Lee Lentner. She asks, Lisa's mom, did she make it? She did make it. Okay. She did make it. Yes. She yes, did she it. did. Okay. It's a miracle. Yes. Yeah. Hey, do great. you know why? I No, I do not know why. Well, if you look at any book in today's society, you will find that a lot of people have been cured yeah. from cancer. It's true. So, that is my case. Mm -hmm. Any book, Hunger That's Games. Twilight. If you look, yeah, there are people any that the, are being cured. The Common theme, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but actually, you know, we can laugh about it, but the fact is that if you look at it seriously, I studied this. Yeah. My little hobby is psychology, long story short. And uh, I interview some of the people, and some people say, you know, some, you hear the story like herbs sometimes help, like, uh, you know, all kinds of medicine, etc., etc. Long story short, I think positive thinking, when you're in a certain stage of your illness, it does help people. That's my point. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's a nice positive thing to have with the movie, considering that the dark ending the movie does take. Yes. So that's, that's, a nice, that's a nice thing to take from it. Okay, here's a Tumblr question. Yes. This is from Sayaka Lionheart. Uh, for Tommy Wiseau, what do you look for in a woman? Mm, that's a good question. Respect, mm -hmm. commitment, passion, and all the elements. Other elements. Yes. That's, the mis <laughs> that's like the secret. Well, it's not a secret. It's just that uh, we, we don't have half hour to spend to what I'm, I'm a very picky guy, so. Okay. Okay. And well, also spirit. I like when you, you know, some, and given. You see, I like when the girls, for example, dressed up as a girl. For example, sure. you know, I have a couple questions. People ask me, say, well, what do you, what do you mean by that? Because I, I emphasize that. Because, you know, 
in today's society, girls cannot prove, doesn't have to prove to me that she can actually work for, let's say, police department or fire marshal to wear jeans. You know, oh yeah, I'm, I'm the better than guy. Because right. you know why? Okay, do you want to hear? I do, yes. Okay, please. cool. Yeah, I very much want to hear. Lisa, did you ever see Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor? Sure. Mm -hmm. You can compare those two characters. Some people say, oh God, what a comparison. Yes, it is big. You know why? Why? Because girls, they have much more power than we guys. We are just too tiny people. That is true. Yeah. That's what I yeah. can say. You know, that's why if you look at the character of Lisa, why she's manipulative, why she wanted what she wants. You see, that's what I enjoy to conversation with many people past, like I say, or again, past three years, because people are actually getting that why is this? That they ask questions like the, right now we why is this or that? Yeah. They say, what is behind the words? If yeah. I say to you, how are you doing? I mean, do I have a sincere way? Do, do I, you know, that's important. Or do I hate you? Or, you know, saying, same to Lisa character. If you call it, compare Elizabeth Taylor, Cleopatra, what is the comments? Well, it's only one comments. They know how to twist words around. Right. They know how to get into right. power. Yeah, kind of wrap you around their finger. Yes, there you go, thank you. I have something for you. Oh boy, right. a Tumblr question is <laughs> from um, T for Stephanie. Greg, where do you think Mark ended up? Do you think that Lisa and Mark eventually got back together or went their separate ways for good? God, so many sequel options. Um, you know, I think that Mark just took off from San Francisco. I think he jumped, sold everything he had, jumped on a Greyhound bus and just took off. Yeah. Yeah. We may have a sequel. Are you working on that? Uh, not, not at this time. Okay. We're working okay. on different projects. Yeah. Oh. Greg, I understand you're working on a, a is that right? You're working on yeah, a tell-all yeah, yeah. with I'm, your blessing? I'm working um, yeah, about, my, about <laughs> yes. my experiences making the film, and it'll be out next year for the 10-year anniversary, which is hard to believe, 10 oh, years. Yeah. yeah, 10 years. <laughs> cool. Wow. Great. OK. Uh, oh, we have, we have another question? question from Video Gum. From Mr. Plainview, my very serious question would be this. If a, Holly, if a Hollywood gave you $100 million to make your dream project, what would it be? That's a question for me. Yes. I guess... I mean, what, what, what would it be? Probably would be end of a, a Dark Knight. The end of... You're going to remake Dark Knight. <laughs> I would not remake it. Actually, I would play the Joker. Sure. And uh, what I would do, uh, I'll probably make uh, uh, billions of dollars for yeah. them. That's what I would do. Very smart. I, I mean, that'd be a good move definitely on their part. <laughs> they may to decide that. they are nice, so I'm, I'm, I have very good response from all the industry, you know, the very kind, the very dark, supporting. Uh, a, lot of actors, a lot of actors, you know, part of the industry, they, they sell them. I don't want to mention the name, but you guys probably know about it. Okay, so, great. So that's what I would do, yes. The dark yeah. room. The dark room, yeah. perfect. Mm. The dark room, the, yeah, when I do that. Dark room rises. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll figure out. Yeah. I have something for you. Oh, and it's from I Tumblr. Go. This is from um, so. Mr. Johnson22. From past interviews, it has been explained that spoons and the Golden Gate Bridge are meant to symbolize the Industrial Revolution. What was the reasoning behind including such references to this particular event in history? Do you agree that they? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know, for example, Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, the time when they built, uh, one person passed away. But the Golden Gate Bridge represents the, that was an accident during construction. A uh, long story short, uh, when we had earthquake in Bay Area, the Golden Gate Bridge survived. This is the technology what we have. And there's beauty on it, if you look at look, we go back, how, how technology we actually can build something. Compared to today, you know, we go somewhere else. So we have very talented people. Yeah. Now, about the spoon, I would say, uh, do you know the, uh, uh, the wood is cheaper than plastic? Do you know the expression? I, I, do, I do not. No, where is it from? What this means, uh, uh, it's my partial expression. Okay. <laughs> Those are the best. Those are always the best. That's not necessarily based on numbers. Of no, it's just that you see the technology of the producing the spoon. Yeah. If you look your way back, it was actually harmful for you. But today, guess what? You don't have it. It's chemical, for example. Yeah. So it's a significant also progression. If you really, you can, as again, people say, oh, God, what he's talking about, I encourage some of the viewers actually go back and say, you know what? Maybe he is right about it. 
But what and now how does that play out in your movie? It's it's a symbolized that you, you know progression over of a generation, you know. Okay. And and I'm happy to say that I noticed that people are not born with their room. Like for example, today we saw down the the, the showing at the sunshine. It's great. Two, three years ago when I was here, the Zixo event, it was the same. Yeah. So we have it, it, we have very great response. A again, all the fans of the room, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully I see you at the screening of the room tonight or tomorrow, whatever. Do you, do you buy movie snacks when you go see it at midnight? No, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the people give it to me, so. Yeah, I can see that. Sure. Uh, Tumblr question is from um, Cygraph. A question for Tommy and Greg, what was the most frustrating part of filming The, the Room and what was the most fun? Greg first. All right, first frustrating <laughs> part, Greg, um, give it up. I would probably say the most fun was uh, playing football in tuxedos because I think that's kind of a once in a lifetime experience mm -hmm. that I uh, thought was amazing. Unless someone brings football to the, that's like true. the wedding, like the that's true. when you're taking wedding photos. That's a good point. Just throw it out. That would be one other so instance that, that, that yeah, might happen. It wasn't even that great. You're that's really true. Crap no, I'm just saying that there's there's memory. hope that that might happen again yeah. for you. Yeah. But definitely. okay, and the most frustrating. <clears throat> um, frustrating. I think I don't know if there's anything that frustrating about it. I'd say more hilarious. Um, <laughs> what about having another actor? Oh no, I know the most. I know the most. <laughs> yeah, that, I know the most frustrating part probably using the staircase as a uh, a love making zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know it worked out. Yeah. No, that Tommy, you did the blocking on that. that <laughs> yes, was your absolutely idea. yes. Uh, I will tell you one thing. Um, the, the, I'm, I'm starting from negative first. The most frustrating was for me to replace some of the actors because we replaced the crew four times, actors four times. Mm -hmm. It was very, you know, because you do the same thing over and then you have to replace people. And another frustrating process that people did not believe in my project. Like for example, say we didn't have the script. As you know, I would release the room DVD and actually you have a script. 100 pages. So it's very, you know, I don't want to be negative, but that's the frustrating part. The good news is that I love to play football. We have a groovy time. <laughs> everybody was, I'm, 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 everybody did a good job overall. Yes. Yes. Great. Okay, well, we're going to be back with more questions and more comments in a sure. second. But first, um, for those of you who somehow haven't yet experienced the magic of the room, here's a sneak peek. Check it out. We'll be right back. These are for you. The best movie of the year. I don't love him anymore. Johnny's my best friend. This will be our secret. Experience this quirky new black comedy. You have my money, right? I treat you like a princess. And you stop me even back. It's a riot. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! A film with the passion of Tennessee Williams. The Room. Directed by Tommy Wiseau. Rated R. Experience this quirky new black comedy. Coming soon near you. <laughs> Perfect. For the doggy, yeah. D-O-G-E. Okay, we're back and we figured what better way to hang out with our new friends than by tossing yeah. football around and standing very close to each other. Sure. That's what we, and we all, you both, okay, so we want to get to more, some more of your questions. We're just going to keep doing that while we yeah. play. All right, this is from Tumblr. Yeah. No throwing to me when I'm reading a question. That's the only rule. Anonymous okay, no asks, problem. at the end of the film, after you trashed the apartment, what were you doing with Lisa's red dress and why? Were Johnny's actions meant to symbolize the loss of love and deep distress? Yes, everything is correct. Uh, why? Because he's completely frustrated with the uh, with life betrayal, and he actually realized the, is, that's the end. But the question is, did he actually survive? He didn't, and he, you know, he still tried to love Lisa, and it didn't come out right. So. Right. Yeah. I think I'm going to use that one next time for revenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, our next question is um, from Tumblr, and it's We Are The Music. What's the name of the doggy? You know, they didn't know yet. They did not, so they did not know yet. Uh, what's the name of the doggy in the florist shop scene? He said doggy is actually, uh, we oh, call it D-O-G-E-E. -E. That's the name doggy. Yep. And actually doggy has his own, uh, I think, Twigger or Facebook or something like that. He has his own Facebook. Yes. Sure. So that's, a, yeah, his name Who is D-O-G-E-E. -E. Yes. <laughs> so Wait, is it two E's or three E's? Three E's. Gotcha. Yeah. Big difference. All right, a yes. comment now from YouTube. So and actually, actually you know, uh, let me also say something yeah. with, for fun, that the doggy has his own contract. So he, we actually paid the doggy. 
Oh, good. Good. Yeah, so he was pay actor, if you look at directly. That's great. Yeah. And we have a really many takes on him, back and forth. Yes, so, you know, animals are treated with respect and, Absolutely. and paid properly. Yes. So, this question from YouTube is from Strong Bad Mandy. Will there ever be a prequel to The Room? As I said, it may. Yeah. Everything's possible. Mm -hmm. Boom. Tommy, so uh, nobody, nobody drop it yet. Today's yeah, my birthday. So is that your I, birthday? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. That, no, so I, that, yeah, I want you to say, <laughs> happy birthday, Gabe. You are my friend. That's my request. Okay, happy birthday, Gabe. You are my friend. Perfect. You're my future friend or maybe current friend. No problem. Perfect. Thank you. Man. That went really well that for me. That really worked out. Uh, good job, Gabe. Thank you. Good I, job I, for I can coming leave. out I'm done. Birthday. I can leave now. <laughs> I'm glad that all worked out. And the, everyone to do everything. Okay, but next is a Tumblr question. This is from Amazing Technicolor Internet. Tommy, was it yes. difficult writing, producing, directing, and starring in the film? What were some obstacles you had to overcome in production? Yeah. So yeah, really. It was difficult, but I did have a system in the, in the place. At the time, we have a signal directly from HD camera to the daily on a VHS tape. So I review everything, go back and forth. My, ra my, ra my, ra my ratio was from one to four, so each scene we did four times, four takes. Four and times. We yeah. Always four, every time four. What yeah, but sometimes it was two? longer. <laughs> sometimes two, if it's come out right. And yeah. then you, you just knew, how often did that happen? That you were like, we don't need this? No, we usually, we all the scene with the three, four, that's the average. And then did you usually end up taking the fourth take, you think? Was that that was when everyone gave their best. Say it again. Did you usually end up taking the fourth take? Do you think that was really? No, like sometimes the middle one. Yeah. It's not necessary the fall be did better. Yeah. How often was it the fourth take, and then you thought we should end here because we did four, but you kind of wanted to do another one? Well, you look at the time, you look at the budget. You're like, if you talk about the producer, and yeah. I was also the producer, Man. so. So it's very difficult. You see, again, people don't realize my background is uh, not just the stage actor, but also. Construction, so I learned a lot of stuff, you know. So, mm -hmm. so it's all skills help, that's why I always say to some of the fans of the room. So. Okay, we have another question from Video Gum uh, from Pickpocket. <laughs> How can I play football if I don't have the appropriate safety gear, a regulation field, and 21 friends? Mm. Well, first of all, you don't need a regulation gear. Number two, you don't need anything like we're playing right now. Have groovy time, that's it. Yeah. And then sometimes you do this. Whoa! Oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing with a certain adjustment. Sometimes I like it. Now you you're that. spicing things up. Yes. Yeah. That's good. So you don't do this. Yeah. Sometimes. Did you do. you do a lot of football practice before the movie just to like get? Yes, a we cast do. We gear. play. Actually, you may ask Greg. We actually play on the street. Yeah. That is yeah, very get everyone in Brett shape. Brett Favre was supposed to come on set and kind of help oh. with throwing motions, but yeah. Tommy decided we had it down. Can like you, when can they we play also on camp. the snow. Well, that's always fun. Oh, you see? <laughs> I'm holding. But he had sticky, sticky fingers. Yeah, okay. that's true. Oh, we have another question from Video Gum. Yes, sir. This is from Fantastic. How did you perfect the human expression of laughter in your films? Ha ha ha. Yeah. So it's a part of the nature, or sometimes you know you do something what is different. This is my like sort of a signature. Ha ha ha. How you doing? It really is. <laughs> yeah. But I want to hear you laugh, but that's, that's how I think you laugh, though, so your real laugh is different. No, sometimes I laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, can, yeah. then give me another one. Do you have another one? Well, if I laugh, what I, if you're like I, a I, what I have to, go, I have to you? go to the corner because I, just, I cannot stand. <laughs> you should do it. You should do yeah, it. Yeah, take over yeah, the corner and... Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. like a laugh cry. Is that like... Yeah. That's not my emotion. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I do that. I have that, too. Yeah, I have a laugh. Yeah. I'm a very emotional person. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I go by emotion. I, I learned this in the, my uh, acting class, Stella Adler. <laughs> Stella Adler, but this Stella is Adler. a G. Shelton from San Francisco. So she's up, and up for me. She's like 85 years old right now. Yeah, I thought, you, I thought she was like 100. But... Well, okay, 100, yeah. We have a question from Twitter. We do. And yes. it is from um, Nate Bennett. It's Nate Bennett. Hey, Tommy, if you could learn one hey. new skill, what would it be and why? And you have so oh, many that's skills. good one. What skill don't uh, you have yet? How to fly? I always want to fly. <laughs> yeah, actually, That'd you be... know what? I may actually. Uh, that's yeah. That's that's a skill I like to learn. But I have many skills. Fly a plane, or do you want plane to as well? A way to, also, figure out a fl way to fly. A way, of, yeah, plane actually. What are some of your favorite skills that you already have? 
Uh, organizing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I, uh, yeah. Building steel building, which I can talk to you. Also design, I uh, design clothing. By the way, I, I do have a line. I uh, started September. We, we are designing, I'm already in the progress. Uh, I already designed. And I want to correct some of the statement when people say I info leverage jack. That's an incorrect statement. Okay. That was actually I designed stuff. I did read stuff. that. Mm -hmm. So it will be for ladies. It'll be just a casual thing what I'm wearing now. And um, for probably, ladies, you'd have for have ladies like this? too. But oh, but but you like ladies to dress like ladies, so like the ladies. Okay. So we have a red dress, for example. We have we yeah, have yeah. similar what you're wearing, some of the casual stuff. Now do with a big logo of the room. No, just uh, <laughs> my logo, Tommy Wazel. That's all. Cool. And you um, designed the dog too. Yes, I designed this for. I, that's that's hard. I'm, right? I'm, I'm, that's this hard. is not yes. leaving here without yeah, not, no being in my hands. I was working on this for four months, so. Wow. And uh, you see from the beginning, and the, it's just the basic it's stuff. It's very soft. But it's very soft. When you touch it, it do you know, I, I have, can I give you some advice? Yeah, please. Uh, if you have uh, some friends, what they maybe. I didn't, I, I am. Oh. <laughs> you, can, you can click and it will shut off. I, don't, I want to figure out what's wrong. <laughs> Nothing wrong is barking. <laughs> That's not barking, Tommy. It's barking now. That's not what barking it sounds like. This, it sounds like a baby. In the movie? That's bark. Okay, that's barking. Okay. And then, and then I do something terribly wrong. That's not barking. Yeah, but you can do like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> when that, I go home tonight, I'm gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna be really scared about what I've done to the this dog. This is the dog from the movie. You did like from a plaster the that's cast correct. of the dog. Yeah. 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 What well, the idea is, what I suggest, because we have a lot of friends that bu they're already buying the stuff, which I like it. Thank you, guys. Uh, when you, for example, uh, depress, mm -hmm. uh -huh. something like that, you push this button, right? You hear a couple sentences, whatever, you shut off if you want, and to me, you will feel better. I do, I, I did, yeah, until it, it I revealed great. that I was hurting, until that dog, the I get one for you too, because it's your birthday. I know. I need You invited for Sunday, them. because Doggy we saw that, but you invited. I'm invited for Sunday? Free of charge. Perfect, you thank you so much. You got, if you have time. Cool. Okay. okay, here's a Twitter question, and it's from um, it's okay. from Don called. What does Mr. Wiseau think about the hashtag YOLO lifestyle? Do you know about YOLO? What is that? It means you only live once. Oh, that's good. Uh, good. Uh, 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 you know what? You have to make your own decision. You know, be good to each other. I, I would say one sentence: If a lot of people love each other, the world will be a better place to live. I just like one word. That's a good. That's a good thing to, to live by. So that's okay. Next Twitter question. This is one more Twitter question from um, from Bud Court. What country are you rooting for in the Olympics? Huh? Are you kidding me, USA? Please. Well, that solves that. <sighs> Greg, what about you? Uh, yeah, I'll stick with USA. What's well, your favorite Olympic sport? <laughs> what? That shame he think, on you. Oh, he thinks I'm rooting for France, but why do you think that? Because I'm. Um, he has a dual passport. Never all about that. I like uh, the the men's basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I think that you're you have a, you picked a good country to root for then. Yeah, I think I think, I think they're gonna win gonna by like happen. every you game by like greatest fifty points. In the world. That one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one? Okay. United States of America. Of course. Number one. The number one country. Yeah. They don't want to admit it. You know, French. I was I used to live in France. To the French, we have always like sort of you know. You what? know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. 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 Well, the French, the one entire world speak French. We didn't come out right, as right. you know, right. or NATO, etc. right? Because we don't all speak exactly. French. Now, everybody speak English, wherever you go. But guess what? Well, the last time I was in France, that was a few months ago, uh, they actually speak good English. Yeah. Right. You see? Yeah. So. You guys. They're nice people. <laughs> that's all the time we have for today. Oh. Spiked that, it. That, um, thank you so much to Tommy and Greg for stopping by. Tommy, I. I have something for you. Oh. Um, the, thank you for bringing that doggy. Oh, thank you very much. Um, if you do live in the New York City area, check out this mi weekend midnight screenings of The Room at the Landmark Sunshine Theater in Manhattan's Lower East Side. Tommy and Greg will be there in person. Thank you very much. And if you can't be there live, go to theroommovie.com for all things Wiseo. And if you're new to my channel and want to know more about the stuff we do here, check out this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, See you guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen.
David Wayne. David Cross, you guys. John Glazer. Gregory Brothers. It's Retta. Dave Hill. And hello, Wyatt Snack. Michael Showalter. It's Steve Renazizi. It's Next Semestry. It's Gilbert Gottfried. Christian Finnegan's here. It's Kurt Brownell. Dear Abraham. This is Eugene Merman. Reggie Watts. Breakdown. Whoever wins this chair will get the most attention from me. Whoa! <laughs> Bouquet of All subs. For me? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You feeling this? Yeah. Baseline. <laughs> it's all happening out loud. <laughs> get out of the way, buddy! Oh this is fun. So, kids, you want safety first. Yo, 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 bath on my damn channel. My damn channel. My damn, damn channel. Is that cold? It feels great. Let's start the day over. Oh, well, now that is a nice touch. I just have regular questions. I mean, we're just oh. going to talk through it today. OK, are they about sex, or? Uh, well, the first one, kind of. So you have two young boys, yeah. children. You seem to feel one way or another about Skittles, which I'm is the way. I'm a peanut M&M's man. Just like when someone plays, say, like a sexual offender on Law & Order, they don't go like, well, this is what I've always wanted to do. <laughs> I don't drink all you the time. Like, no. I don't drink all the I time. I do on my damn channel show. Like I'm going to drink a lot I before I go on no. camera. <laughs> I was really excited to hear that Valerie was choreographing this piece. I feel like once they see this, they're gonna be like, spring it, Retta's, bring her on. Retta is awesome. Like, I could just, she didn't even have to move. I don't know that I have a process. I kind of just feel the music and my body takes over. First question, what can I get you to drink? A seltzer? Use your buzzer, please. Uh, seltzer. Judges? Ha <laughs> ha! Correct! I want to see everybody at home dancing! Yeah! And if you're at work, dance even harder! Come to my pizza party! I will get your pizza started! You will get my pizza started! I'm sick of listening to my boss telling me. Today, we are going to make Devil ice cream sundaes. What? Yeah, yeah I know. Kinda... I love cooking. I Do love you... eating. Is this a voodoo doll? Are you tr are you trying to kill Christian? Or yes. That's how we have real fun. Russian roulette. Oh gosh. You can't you can't do Russian roulette on YouTube. What? Why not? It's no, just one bullet. No, no. So now it's time to you know get all up 2.0 and respond to your live tweets and your YouTube comments and all that stuff. And the first thing we have is from Facebook. It's a question. <gasps> I know Facebook. You I know, know Facebook. It. It's from Stacy Perrick. Will he have another collaboration with Bob Odenkirk? I, Bob and I are actually going to publish a uh, series of uh, our sketches and scripts that never got made. That's so exciting. It is Nicki Minaj. Ooh, I want to see I this. I heard one song. Okay. okay, you can do this. Start that clock. Draw my eye. Here we go. Fry my dinner. I'm trying live. What, 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 what? Oh, you go ahead. You no, go I ahead. want you to read it in that voice. Is Michael a brown gravy or a white gravy kind of a guy? Great question, Bilbo. Psst. Uh, and the answer is, I'll take, I, I, I like wavy gravy. That's the answer. Hola. Mina Koro is Regi Watts. Hi, I'm David Cross. Hey, I'm Michael Showalter. Hi, I'm David Wayne. Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Max. Hi, I'm Gilbert Gottfried. Hi, my name is Retta. Hey, this is Wyatt Sinek. Hi, I'm Adam Carolla. Hi, I'm John Glazer. Hi, I'm Eugene Merman. Hey, I'm Steve Renazizi. Hi, I'm Dave Hill. I'm Christian Finnegan. I'm Kurt Brownover. We're, We're the Gregory, Gregory Brothers, Brothers, and you're watching My Damn Channel. 